No chances with cutlets. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Oh, God! That's, that's a, listen, they say, like, people were born without knowing right and wrong. You fucking born knowing that. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Something in your brain. Well, I can't say it. Some, most people in their brain. Do you think that, or do you think, like... My, I mean, kids know who their mother is without somebody saying, that's your mother. Well, yeah. I don't know. You hear these horror stories of people getting together and be like, oh, my God, I found out they're my second cousin. Oh, yeah, because that's, that's, I think that's a learned thing over time. <laughs> Unless you're Amish. Unless you're Amish, yeah. Why are we talking about this? Is this on? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. it's on. <laughs> Why are we talking about this on the podcast? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on. Welcome to, to a best podcast, ladies we need and gentlemen. An intro or something. <laughs> I'm rambling on about some fucking fucked up bullshit. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just saying. That's the best. <laughs> what? You're just saying what? I never kissed a cousin. No. I think a majority people of people. Have, and then you yell at them. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, like, How do you well, explain that to somebody that has no, like, the sheltered person from the world? They're like, oh, you find out that they're dating their cousin. You're like, oh my God, I got to stop this. We're in love. <laughs> no, you ain't. <laughs> I don't think you do stop. Your baby's going to have three eyeballs. and Because I grew up learning that that was all right. In this day and age? Is that why Pornhub's crazy? Maybe. I don't know. Step that's kind of like in our DNA anyway. Because that's what how... It's in our DNA. To fuck a cousin? Pretty much. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Back in the medieval Are you time. trying to tell me something? <laughs> it's all in our DNA. This is how he comes out of the world. But that's how they kept like the, the crown. The crown. Yeah, I know the, the blood. Keep it in the bloodline, but that doesn't mean it's right. Doesn't mean it's right now. I'm not saying it that is was right. just them trying to preserve so their family always had the crown without mixing blood. But something in the order of nature tells you it ain't right when you come out with these mutations. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> People getting these huge underbites and deformities, and they're like, oh, that's nature saying, hey, you need to knock this shit off. Well, I mean, in, I mean, it had to start somewhere. Oh, God. Well, what about tribes? I don't fucking all, know. It's all, well, I'm just letting you know. Somewhere down the line, somebody boning somebody's cousin. I think we're still in that, like, only past 100 or 200 years where everybody's starting to like meld and like I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I don't be like, yeah, there's half breeds here. Half- <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to I'm just saying that there's people are mixing. I, I don't know. Well, you think about it. This, they've only been in North America for like what, three, four hundred years? Yeah, I thought. So, other than that, before the ships, they were all segregated. Nobody went to, well, they dropped people off in Australia, but nobody knew about the people over here. And then the islands down here. There's no way to get to each other to intermingle. That's what I'm saying. So, it's only recently that they're starting to mingle and melt and whatnot. <laughs> but, I mean, you had localized tribes here, there, here, there, and they're always fighting with each other for land and bison and whatever the fuck they Bison! Do. Do you maybe think that's why there's like a few geniuses through history? They're like the exceptions that didn't. They were like fresh blood for a couple of generations, and it was like they didn't have this Maybe. fucked up genetic codes. So it was like they were just cleansed. They were like Einstein was like, oh, his family oh, yeah. came here and jumped you there and went cleansed. there. <laughs> you know what I mean? That sounds like some Hitler shit. They're pure brain. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Well, we don't have a very good vocabulary. I don't know. I I never sat down and thought about this shit. Well, I think about it because I'm like, well, I mean, somewhere in my lineage, there's been people that have been fucking their cousins. Ancestry.com. You want to give us a cousin fucker. Hey, fist family tree. <laughs> so somewhere in there, it's... I mean, it's in yours, it's in mine, it's in hers. What would you do if you, like, did a family tree and you found out 
that you and Stephanie are distantly related. <laughs> Like you break down, you're like going never, back and back. You're like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Just never gonna do it. They broke off, and then you you brought it back around. <laughs> yeah. You think about it though, because even <clears throat> this day and age, people grow up and stay in the same town. I mean, what about you? You have a whole city, of Pinecroft. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. There's well, Crofts. They- then they said that somebody was on the family tree, and they said they think because Croft is a German name that it was Groft. G R O F T when they came over and wrote it down, and then they miss when they put everything in the documents. They miss took the G for a C. Yeah, because there's people there's crossing out in Pennsylvania that are like, dog, you know this person? I have no idea who the fuck they are. Oh, but they're probably God knows how big this family is. <laughs> probably. You know, down the line, somebody could change Would the spelling. Would you marry a Croft? Like if, I don't think I could. I don't think I could date somebody that had my sister's first name. Like, even if they weren't related, you know what I mean? Did you ever think about that? No. Like, if you saw but this hot chick and they were like, oh, and the same name as your sister, you'd be like, oh, that's an instant turn off. I don't think I can. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I can. No, so your sister's kept you from a bunch of Ashleys. Though. Yeah, this. Damn it, mom and dad. <laughs> you'd be like, oh, yeah, who's that? What's your name? Hi, I'm Ashley. Fuck, never mind. Just <laughs> dang it. I'm going to go this way. Why? Can you change your name? Can you change your name? Give her a pseudonym. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I never thought about it. I was never really close to my sister, so I don't... Okay, or like, or like somebody the same name as your, your mother or your aunt. Like You'd be like, yeah, who's this? And they tell you your name, and you're like, damn it! <laughs> hey, Tammy, this is Tammy. <laughs> Yeah, how awkward would that be? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I never thought about it. I never <laughs> ran into that. They'd be like, Shane's dating Tammy. Huh? Will you wait a minute? What? <laughs> Somebody needs to stop this right now. Jenner <laughs> oh, history, buds. Afraid to do a family tree. Jeanette. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, not, I'm not doing it. Sooner or later, everything comes back to not too many people on the planet. But then I'm like, maybe I'm royally blooded. What does that even mean, this day and age? What does that mean? Oh, yeah, you can brag. What the fuck going on my mouse? There we go. If you go back in... Fuck it. And uh, history. This thing sucks. And, uh... You need a mouth pad or something, bud. I know. In history, <clears throat> you find out you have royal blood, and you mean... Then I'm going to, like, try to take that over. You're just going to walk around the crown and... Maybe Scepter. I'll have a castle somewhere. If I go back and find like this today, everybody's offended. I'm gonna go back and find I have like Native American in me shit like this. Be like, I'm oppressed. <laughs> <laughs> Start this whole thing, and that'll yeah. be a whole line of people. People come out of the woodwork. I'm one sixty fourth Native American. That could happen. I don't know. I mean, what's it? I mean, you're gonna find out. You're you gonna find out you related to Typhoid Mary. <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> or some like Lizzie Borden. <laughs> Who are these people? Typhoid Mary's the the bitch that she was some help with like like some English English family. She spread typhoid fever all through England. Oh Jesus! Because it was um like it's a disease where people can carry it. I'm not sure the effects. So she was like make food. It was on some documentary, but she like would never wash her hands, so she'd scratch her ass, make the food. And then people would get sick, and they'd be like, "Oh, why are you getting sick?" And they never thought it was her because she never was sick, but she spread it, and then it spread like crazy. On purpose? Mm-mm. She had no oh. idea. So it all originated with her. So they named her Typhoid Mary. Oh, all nice. these people were getting sick. I don't know if it's like a flu type thing. I think it just dehydrates you and slowly, like you can't keep liquid, and so you dehydrate and die. And Lizzie Borden's the bitch with the axe. Chopped up her family. Remember the rhyme from school? <laughs> Lizzie Borden had an axe. Gave her mother 40 wax when she realized what she'd done. Gave her father 41. You can go stay at the house for like a weekend. Oh this is Lizzie. I don't know where it's at. But Why would you want to stay there? I don't know. You can't. I would never fucking stay there. Why do people want to stay there? You can there? stay there for overnight. In the bedroom where they for found overnight. for overnight, where the bedroom where they found her father, and then the couch. People take pictures of laying on the couch. Her mother saw it. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? 
Stay right here on the couch. I still has blood stains. It's all dried up. Hey, when you go down your line, you find out all these people have mental illness. You're like, oh my god, all my life people tell me I'm messed up. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's in my genetics. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't. I won't put that out into the interweb. <laughs> I tried to look up some family tree stuff, but then, whew, half the time you can't even read the writings on the like censuses and yeah. stuff like that. So I don't fucking know what I'm looking at. Better off not knowing. I'm sure you go back far enough, you realize everybody's related to everybody. Just all off the well, coming off his little island. The umfufu people. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Speaking of that, you didn't. Well, we were talking about this a little bit at work, but you didn't watch it, did you? The abducted in plain sight. No, I didn't watch that. Thing. Okay, well, if you haven't seen it, just a little spoiler alert. So if you don't I read know, about a little bit of it, but basically, it shows this family that their neighbor moved in. They became good friends, and he was like obsessed with their one daughter. And, Took her camping, and then she disappeared for so many days. And After, like, one she's camping? Well, he was supposed to take her horseback riding, and he never came back that day. So they tried to get a hold of him, and then she was missing for, like, two days. And he had her out in the camper and brainwashed her and convinced her that she was an alien. He played this little tape recorder that she was an alien and that her purpose here was to save the planet. And she needed to have a baby by the age she was 16, so he convinced her to, like, let him rape her. But anyway, so it, it's fucked up like that. Well, watching it just makes you angry. Not at like the man, but the family, how stupid they are. He basically fucked his whole family. <laughs> what? It's fucked up. So he convinced, he would hang out with the wife and uh, like weaseled his way in. Uh, so she liked him and tried to have an affair with her, with him on her husband. So he'd be like, okay, well, I can do this. And then if you, you know, try to tell somebody out, out you and say that you're having an affair with your husband. There's a scene in there where they're, they're driving, and the guy's like, <laughs> he's like, we're driving, and he was like, I'm, I need a release. I'm, I'm sexually frustrated. <laughs> and the, and the husband's like, well, that sounds like you're having problems at home. He goes, and then I could see that he was sexually aroused, and he said, I need relief. At this point, I'm going, no. <laughs> he goes, so I messed up. I, I reached over and relieved him. <laughs> watching i about jumped off the couch i look at miranda i said what the fuck <laughs> he goes i made the biggest mistake of my life i relieved him and cheated on my wife <laughs> i'm like what the fuck no if, so, if some, i'd be in the car and someone be like i need some relief i'm punching a fucker in the throat i'm not <laughs> that's all i'm saying never he's, he made it look like he's like oh i just i just fucked up i didn't know what i was doing my like you knew what you was doing <laughs> I just reached it. <laughs> you had to see the clip. I was like, no, he's not gonna. He like breaks out. He's like, I cheated on my wife. Uh, I released, I relieved him. And I'm he, like, what the fuck? This family is fucking insane. <laughs> Jesus. So then he used that on when they said he kidnapped her. To, he was like, well, you need to tell the FBI that, you know, you let me take her camping that or I'm going to release your uh, husband was involved in homosexual relationship and they're like oh okay so they wrote him off so he didn't end up serving any time but that scene alone if you will oh my god i was like why am i watching this i'm glad i didn't watch now i was just it's so in shock that, that was the shocker of the year right there <laughs> i'm like put in that situation i don't understand how somebody just convinced you i need relief i said i'm fucking choking somebody out they do <laughs> Punching him in the face and getting out the car. Ain't no. Oh. Yeah. Then that's I thought my... you're having problems at home. <laughs> I thought he was going to be like, oh, he found out he was cheating on his wife or whatever. But no. He... Ugh. That is the new thing. Everybody's Did obsessed with him. Netflix. Handy? I guess. That's what he said. And he started breaking down crying. Man. I broke the sacred bond on my wife. Oh, he, that's what he said. He goes, he was like, oh, come on. It's just kid stuff. <laughs> That's what he said. He told that guy. He's like, well, I, I did, then I messed up. <laughs> what the fuck? I, this is good stuff. This whole family. That's why there's that meme floating around. It says about when 
you're cheating on your wife with the man that she's cheating on you with, but he's cheating on both of you with your daughter. Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. But it turned out how she wrote a whole book about being brainwashed as a kid and that, and she finally did. Got him convicted. He was like 80-something. He ended up killing himself. His brother was the most realest person on there. He was like, yeah, I knew my brother was a pedophile. I tried to tell people. Nobody would listen to me. He goes, no doctors. And he was like, yeah, my brother killed himself, so Jesus. he deserved to die. I was like, oh, my, that's his brother. Like He seemed like the only real person in it. Yeah. Well, I, I, I looked over and saw he was sexually around. So I was like, see that clip. Is, I was like, I'll touch it. I was just so in shock. I was like, um, no. But also, that doesn't feel like that would be cheating. I feel like you need to go reevaluate your life. <laughs> That's definitely, a re- the, yeah. If somebody convinced you that quick, <laughs> I need some relief. Oh, it's just kid stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. There has to be more going on. There has to be. This is set up. This can't be all. The, this story can't be 100 percent real. That's all I wanted to tell you. But I don't understand how this is the top, like thing trending on Netflix right now. It it sucked. The documentary sucked. Like it made you mad. It made you go, "This family is that stupid. This is how. This is the people getting kidnapped. This is stupid. You would just let your daughter go hang out with. Yeah, let him hang out with this forty year old man. We've known him a couple months, and then they said that he hired a psychologist to say like he was supposed to be on therapy for his problems. So the psychologist was like, yeah. He never met, the family never met the psychologist. He'd be like, yeah, psychologist wants me to play these tapes of like, um, me about my problems. And I'm supposed to lay with your daughter in bed while I listen to them. And they're like, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck? Yeah, that's perfectly normal. That sounds- they're like, we knew he had an infatuation with our daughter, but we didn't think nothing of it. Not at that time. We didn't think, we didn't even know what a pedophile was. Then they're interviewing the FBI agent. He was so mad. He goes, "This family." He goes, "Once they signed off that, oh yeah, we gave him permission." He goes, "I was ready to put him away for 20, 30 years at that point." He goes, "Hey, just let him walk away." So I was done. Jesus, <sighs> how do you do that to your like? Let that happen to your kid? I don't fucking know. Then the kid was so brainwashed. She like ran away, and she's like, "We're gonna get married," and she was living her own little like girl school. She ran off to just to get away from everybody, but she was still brainwashed. Until she actually turned 16 and realized that none of the shit that she was told was real. And came to the realization and then went and told the police and FBI the whole story about how he brainwashed her and shit. And then she finally got him. Well, he would have been put behind bars, but he ended up killing himself. Oh, he's 80. It's crazy. I know. He pretty much lived the full life. Mm Hmm. But just shit, I'm like, ugh. I guess you wonder how shit like this happens, but then you watch that and you're like, well, I can see how, I don't know, people just don't think. I can see how, like, you brainwash the daughter, but, I mean, then you have the family that just let it happen. I just don't know how. Because, oh, my God, they're going to know I I had an affair on my husband. You have to be, like, your whole life just super gullible, like, you believe everything. Like, you have to have no bad shit happen to you at any point. Because, not that we're old, but we're old enough now, you know, something, even if something pops up, it's like, hey, this is free. You're like, hmm, there's some catch. That's <laughs> <Bad survivors. laughs> In the back of your mind, you're like, hmm, this seems too good to be true. Somebody comes up to you first time you met and you're super nice. You're like, something off about that guy. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Like, you watch them Ted Bundy things. Everybody's like, oh, he's so charismatic. They showed a couple clips. I'm like, this motherfucker doesn't seem charismatic. Something's off. <laughs> he's... Yes, I just like everybody. I, I'm going to be a lawyer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody picked up on this creepy fuck. Nope. I always have a saw and rope in my car. I don't know why. <laughs> Never know. Oh, but yeah. So that was uh, something. <sighs> I'm glad I needed to see that. What did you spend your nights watching? No. Well, I've been watching this, uh, that other thing on Netflix. It's not really everybody talks about. It's just called The Keepers. It's about this. School, it was a Catholic school, and they were doing oh, stuff right. to the kids. Well, no, and then the one nun found out, and she was going to out them. And so they kidnapped her. 
and they found her body. So now it's like 40 years later, and a couple of the students have been working on this for 40 years, have been trying to track down exactly who kidnapped her. So they're finding all these people that are now coming out of the woodwork room being like, yeah, they did this to me. Because they threatened the girls and be like, well, if you tell anybody, we'll just kill your family. Because they were like, ran the community. Jeez. So she found out the nun left to work at the public school and was gonna was working with the FBI to out them. And before she could like give the names and stuff, that's when they kidnapped her and took her up in the woods. Why don't you just give the names right away? I don't know. I think she was trying to get evidence. Like she had the girls. The girls wouldn't confess because you know she would like ask them yes or no questions. They'd be like, so she was trying to watch, watch them like do her own little recon, uh-huh. and somebody ratted her out. So that's that's interesting. That's a good one that I like because it's you know it seems real. I don't know. It doesn't seem like all those fake ones. Not that they're fake, but just so scripted out. Yeah. But yeah, I watched that. Not too many other shit. Why is everybody trying to fuck kids? I don't, I, neither do I. I don't fucking. And I don't know if people just. I don't want to say times have changed, but they haven't. But people like they just didn't believe anything. And this was only like the sixties. Like your kid would say something, you you had to know something wrong with your kid. They come home from like school and yeah, like you can just read a person, <laughs> like tell me, oh nothing's wrong, no something's wrong, and then yeah. you get your ass down to school. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. People want to. It was also in the times of yeah, the devil. The devil talk. Yeah, that was another thing. The devil. Fucking what the devil was created all this shit. The devil made me put it in Jimmy's butt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why are you gonna perform an exorcism on him? Or that know. or the fucking what are they doing to the, what were they doing with the priest now? They were like setting them some kind of, kind of like camp or something. To like Yeah, I know you mean to set them right or yeah. whatever. I don't know how that and then they just move to a different community. You can't. When you're that old, your brain, it takes a lot to change somebody's brain pattern. I think something's mentally wrong if you're, something's not wired right. I don't care how much activity brainwash stuff you try to, you're going to set them right. Oh, they'll be like, yes, I'm healed. The same thing with like an addict. They'd be Why in rehab just, for six months. Yes, I'm healed. And then priests, you know, have wives. Because that's unholy. But grabbing children ain't. I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> this world is fucked up. There you go. Just, you know, let the priest have wives. Wife. And I try not to watch that shit because it just makes you mad. Yeah. And you can't really do anything about it. Now you're just angry. God damn. That's well, why I'm not going back to church. Ever. Oh, <gasps> you're a sinner. I don't even know last time I was at church. I don't know. You want to believe in all that stuff? That's great and dandy. I don't think you need to go devote your whole life to it. No. What happened to your mouse? I don't know. It's just... Then you need batteries. I replaced the batteries. Out there it works fine. Well, look at See? the red light. Well, here. It goes better on there than it does out there. See? The table's great. I want to say it's great. Well, I replaced the batteries. The other day. What'd you it's buy? doing that because it's up. They're Duracell. Duracell. <clears throat> I mean, this isn't too far from the... Well, mine is all hold up. <laughs> 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 what are you trying to say? Somebody over in the... Mine's all hold up. <sighs> what, else we got? what else we got to talk about here? I mean, I'm sure you can see in this, this video that I have... Fidgetism. I'm trying to get see what time we're at. Now that we had an in-depth conversation about naughty people. Naughty people. Entertain Where's my them. menu? There we go. I'm just gonna leave that there. That way, I'm not gonna fuck with it. Trying to switch back and forth if we need this. Finally. But, uh, oh yeah, speaking of people and cra- <laughs> crazy in the church. So, 
and you brought up Hitler. When he was in power, they thought he was possessed by the devil. So they tried Who? the Catholic the Church. Children? Oh, Catholics. So they tried to perform an exorcism from a distance. I don't know what the distance was. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is a true story. Um, they were like, we got to perform an exorcism on him. And they said, from a distance. I don't know if they were at the Vatican. <laughs> Hundreds of miles away, just <laughs> like pinpointing by somebody. or like somebody's walking by and like ha ha, throwing throwing holy water. He's like, "What in the fuck is this? Why is my wet?" <laughs> that just made me think of that. <laughs> Squirt on him. How you could uh, breathe everything to the devil. Squirt got him. You're too intrigued by the screen. I'm trying to set up Bigfoot now. <laughs> <You know. laughs> he just fell over. <laughs> Haven't had any more recent Bigfoot news. No Wait, they, do you think they'll ever catch a Bigfoot? Do you think it's in your honest opinion? Do you think Bigfoot is real? I think there's a possibility. For a Bigfoot to be real. Like, do you think it was... You said that there is possibility. Or it was just, like, native people spotting this. Like, either... A, Deranged bear? A, yeah, a bear or, a, like, a an ape that had, like, a, you know, humans get pituitary problems and they overgrow. Something like that. Well, there's these apes in, like, South America or whatever, but they're, like, six foot tall. And yeah. they walk on their hind legs because they had a picture of the one they killed and it was like shoulder lift with both of them. I mean, if you saw that walking up right through the woods, yeah. you're not gonna st- I'm not going to stick around and see what the fuck it is. <laughs> but I mean, if they found one, it, I think it would stun everybody if somebody came across like had an actual evidence of... Well, that, well, that's the only thing that's like, I mean, for as long as we've been here, then... I don't know, maybe the Neanderthals. Have have some evidence somewhere. Like... I don't know. They're always spotted up, spotted up in the like north west region of the states. And apparently, I've never been up there. But apparently, they said the forest is so thick. Like once you go in, six feet is like you. It's like it looks like dusk. Yeah. Like that's how thick it is. He goes, oh, it's easy for people to get lost, and you walk in ten feet, lose which way you're going, and it's just fucking. You have no idea where you're at. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like that's why there's. I think there's a possibility. Just because the, there's a lot of space out there. I mean, I mean you can't even walk out into these woods. No. I mean, they're finding insects and shit every day that they yeah. discovered. I'm like, how? Oh, this is a newly discovered... Well, did you see they just re- rediscovered that bee that they thought that has been extinct for? Mm-hmm. I was like, like, how did you... <laughs> well, how the fuck you miss that? <laughs> I think it's like 17 inches. You see that coming at you, you'd be like, that's a prehistoric fucking monster. <laughs> yeah, something like that there is fine. Was, um, some documentary. I can't remember what it was. I don't know if it was like a fake documentary or what, but it was a uh, like survivalist guy that went up in the woods and he had his camera with him. Like he had, he took, went up by himself for like a week and then he took a camera crew with him up for a week and uh, it was like some scientist but he was in his tent, and he had a recording. It was just like a recorder. And you could see, hear something outside grunting. And he's like, I don't know if it was a bear or like a wild hog or something. He goes, the thing seemed like it had a size. And it was smacking his tent. The thing seemed like, <laughs> like it had a size. No, had, like it had some size to it. I know what you meant. So he was like, so I've been coming up here, and there's these trees that were like, they weren't snapped. They were bent, and they were spliced, so they'd fold into one another. And it made like a square, and they had leaves laid above it. Like it made a... Kind of like a canopy type thing. Yeah. And he goes, these fucking trees were thick. And he goes, I don't know. He goes, there's no way that me or you is going to bend these trees. He goes, I don't even understand how you bend a tree without it snapping. But there was multiple up, set up like that. So he's like, I don't know if this is like a shelter. But he kept going up. He was trying to find these caves, but he didn't. There was inconclusive evidence. But it was all this weird shit. And he was following these footprints that were oversized. I can't remember what the fuck it was called. But it was like... Make you wonder. Make you wonder. I'm not going to go out in the woods and fuck around because there's other shit out there. <laughs> not like I step on a snake and that's it. <laughs> I mean, the craziest thing is there's there's still tribes out there that haven't been, like, contacted. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I wanted to just kill that dude. Yeah, he's trying to give him Bibles. <laughs> trying to teach him Jesus so he could probably molest him. Like, that's scary. There's, like, tribes not even on island, like, deep in South America, in the middle of the jungle that nobody, the people just come across. That's what I'm saying. Do you know how big freaking South America is? That's pretty much the whole jungle. So, you know, if there's a tribe of, I don't know what they call Bigfoot. I could see, like, like how these people sprout off. Like, it had to just be like, well, we'll make our own tribe. So, like, whatever happened to, they said humans and Neanderthals, two different species. Well, I can see, what if Neanderthals became their own little tribe, and just, like, the population shrunk down, but they always said they were bigger, stronger, and had, like, ape-like features. Yeah. I mean, you come across a man that's hairy shit, seven foot tall. (laughs) I don't know. Maybe one day we'll find out. Maybe. Probably not. Well, what else is weird is like... But they some, haven't found any bones. Some there. humans have like... I don't know if they're diseases or like... What do I want to say? <clears throat> Where they like grow kind of like hair everywhere. Mm-hmm. Kind of like they have like a fur or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if it's a, like... It's probably just a condition. But just makes grow hair <coughs> everywhere. 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 I don't know. Something's don't really out there. I'm, I mean, I, yeah, there's definitely a possibility. And then you yeah, have that no guy shit. that claimed to have caught one. Yeah. He has multiple videos about it, though. I don't know. Maybe he's telling the truth and yeah. nobody wants to believe him. I just watched one where he had, like, a body of it. I don't know, though. Just, just looks weird. I don't know. If the government's trying to hide something like that, they'll just let these people think that they're crazy. Because they'd be like, the government shut me down. Like all these alien conspiracies. They'll be like, oh, let them. They'll think they're crazy. Tell the fucking show up. I think it's kind of like a perfect situation for, like, if the government wanted to cover up right now. Because, I mean, no matter what you watch on, oh, this is fake. This is fake. This mm-hmm. isn't real. And of course, yeah, there's some that will believe it, but I think everybody's skeptical anymore. Yeah, till you see it with your own eyes. Yeah. There's a video of a UFO. Oh, no. A CGI. <laughs> oh, but here's Bigfoot. No, you made that out of paper machine. <laughs> I've made things like that before. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't want to see it with my own eyes anyway. Like, what if somebody you didn't never a dead one, never I don't want to uh, see a real life one? Cause it's probably just club. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, he's dead. Like, if somebody never told you, or you never saw a picture of a giraffe, and somebody told you this animal existed, would you believe that? No. Like, there's this horse out there with this twenty foot neck. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> It's got spots all over. You'd be like, fucking Jim is insane. <laughs> or how about an ostrich? Yeah, this giant. You got this egg shaped thing. This six foot pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? His knees are backwards. <laughs> what? He run, he gallop, he's fast as shit. Yeah, there's no way. I'm I mean, if somebody came with you and told you this, you'd be like, they lost a damn mind. It's the first time somebody saw one of them and go back explaining it. Yeah. <laughs> An explorer. They have this bug over there with these big claw punchers <laughs> and it has a fucking needle on it. <laughs> like, there's no way I'm believing in scorpions either. No. You're from Eng- an English explorer and you go to Africa and down to like Southern America and see all this shit and go back with this information. They're going to be like, he's put him in the dungeon. He's on drugs. And I'm lost as my There's this, these dinosaurs are still around down there. Fucking this giant ass. I saw this 20 foot alligator. I saw this dinosaur. He jumped out and grabbed his six foot bird. Y'all right? <laughs> no. They got this deep, deep in the ocean. They got this fish with needle teeth. <laughs> and he has a whole fucking thing. <laughs> He's a nightlight on his head. <laughs> A fucking light on his head. Oh shit! Well, they didn't believe giant squids existed. They thought that was all fairy tale, and then they caught that one because they said they couldn't explain why these sperm was a sperm whale. 
I don't know, would always come ashore when they beached themselves, and it'd have all these scars on its face yeah. and down its back. They didn't know what was making it, and here we'd find out it was, you know, it would get in fights with the squid. That's insane. Yeah. They, the eyeball was like a saucer or a plate. I guess that's how the Kraken story started. Yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Look down in the water and see his fucking eyeball looking up at you. <laughs> well, even still, like, I'm, I'm sure that like, if you're out there, even on like a tiny boat, a giant squid could take it down. Yeah. I mean, it didn't take much for, I don't know how strong those tentacles would be, but. I mean, well, you see a snake, a little python that's this big. It wouldn't really be hard. Wrap up you your to, fucking arm. Especially, and, like, older boats. All you have to do is tip it to one side just enough to get the, the water flow in. Didn't need a cruncher or nothing. Just... That's going. Woo! Oh, the Kraken. <clears throat> it's not like they would have had giant boats. No. It was all wood. Yeah. I don't know. An old sailor tale. Let me tell you about the Kraken. And it, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have like modern tools to put it together either. So they wouldn't have like, I mean, they'd have nails, but not. I don't know. The ocean's freaky as it is. Yeah. Like just looking in there, especially at night. Even just being on the beach, you're like, go in the water. No, nah, that's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm all right. <sighs> well, just, just think about how big that fucking thing is. Like, I'm sure we haven't even discovered like a tenth of what. They said, this that. shit washes up, and they're like, "What is this? It's an alien." Like mermaids. I mean, like, I mean, I don't believe mermaids, but there's that one guy. There's definitely a possibility of something. Um. Yeah, I don't know if it's a Virgin Noble dude. Right one guy took that explorer, like a little man, one man submarine thing down. Like I forget how far. I don't know if it was a mile. It was something insane like that. Like the pressure outside was nuts, and it was just nothing but pitch black. Yeah. Probably the Mariana. I mean, it was like the, the. You talking about the Virgin Mobile dude? Yeah, is that who it was? I couldn't yeah. remember if that was the guy. Yeah. Richard Branson. He Man, I'd be down there looking. The Mariana looking. Trench. You hear the thing creaking? You mad? Oh fuck! No, it's yeah. pitch black. You know how much pressure is down there from all that water? That man has the biggest mm. set of balls. <laughs> Uh, he's they're the ones that are creating the um it's like a space plane I can't remember what they call it but they're having a plane that goes up into pretty much space for like tours for tours and like I don't know I don't want to be in the first one <laughs> because no. <laughs> but they want let, to have let, them, let them figure like, it out <laughs> the whole entire top's clear so you can see out in well, they're doing now, I don't know who's doing it, but starting, I think it's next, Next, it's either 2020 or 2021, they're doing tours to visit the, visit the Titanic. Yeah, I'm not like the on submarine that. down. It's like five grand a ticket. I'm oh. like, I don't know how deep it is down there. I mean, it's not, you know, blackout five, deep, but. Five grand to die. No, I would be down the whole time looking around for fucking crash going, what am I going to do with this thing just gives <laughs> out? How am I going to get back up without drowning or something eating me <laughs> i'm like why is the thing you can see videos of it that's cool i can understand you want to see it firsthand no i don't me as a human i'm not supposed to be that far underwater no. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i watch too many movies <laughs> think of every bad situation that could happen to me when i'm doing something fucking pin <laughs> so, window blows in then what? You ain't gonna swim out of that. You know how much force is pushing back? Everybody, they just wanted, everybody wants to explore this shit. Like the people who want to climb Everest. Why? Everybody, you know how Everyone many people... Just say you did it. You, know, you know how many people have done it nowadays? I mean, there's a good bit. And then his body's up there, just lay because they can't... They don't decompose because it's so cold. And they use them as fucking landmarks. <laughs> so cold and not enough oxygen. I was watching this thing they were talking about how much shit is on Everest because people just go to the bathroom leave it behind. And, yep. Oh, God. Oh, right here's dead Jim. <laughs> you want to make a left to him. 
I just don't get it. Yeah, he froze to death here. Let's infatuation go up. Yay, we're at the top. Now we're going to walk the whole fucking way back down. I wonder how long that takes. Oh, it should. I don't know. Well, you want to go climb Everest? No. I'd rather not be in a place that takes oxygen and then freezes you to death. And then you're just there. <clears throat> and then you're just there forever. Just... Oh, that's the shame. We're on the right path. Yeah. Oh, it's only a few more steps from here. They want to go to the highest point, the lowest part of the ocean. Let's see how close we can stand to this volcano. You see any other living creatures around here? No. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> your ass ain't supposed to be here either. That was exactly why. So when the lava hits your foot and it melts it off, I don't want to hear you complaining. Oh, my. People are just people, I guess. I'm going, you want to go on an African safari? No! Not unless I'm in a tank. Oh, we ran out of gas. We're going to be stranded here for a few days. Oh, see that line coming up? Oh, by the way, we only have a half hour worth of water left. He's hungry. Oh, nightfall's coming. Oh, we don't want to be out here with nightfall coming. <laughs> well, why? What happens at nightfall? <sighs> we all going to die. Uh, it seems like a pack of lions have moved in on us. Well, I see some hyenas. There's a lion. There's a leopard up in the in the tree there. A cheetah's back there waiting for one of you to run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The last thing I want to see is a pair of eyes. Could <laughs> you imagine? No. I just shit my pants. I shit my pants here. It's night. We're by woods, and you shine yeah. a flashlight and see these eyes reflect back at you. Nick, like, what yeah. the fuck is that? Something can eat me. Yeah. We might oh, be we might be high on the food chain, but we low on the self defense in nature. <laughs> Unless you're prepared for it, we ain't got no claws, no fangs. Yeah, we can't even eat meat if it ain't cooked properly. <laughs> this is the truth. <sighs> We've de-evolved ourselves. I think about that too. Like all these animals get evolved to like, oh, they eat this meat. They don't get these diseases because their bodies have learned over hundreds of years to be immune to it. And there's us that hundreds of years have been cooking stuff and wearing shoes. Our feet are as tough. We've de-evolved ourselves. My brain might got smarter, but was it worth it? We get thrown out in the wood. We can't. It's either too hot for us, too cold for us. We get dehydrated, our skin dries out. We don't belong here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. We should have died off a long time ago. We don't belong here. <laughs> Any element. We got to be in a climate controlled box for ninety percent of our life. <laughs> Yeah, this is true. <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? What do they used to do? Freeze to death? What do you mean? <laughs> or bake in the sun, die dehydration? I don't know what they used to do. Like way, way, way back then. Was well, he? I don't understand how, like. They said the original, like, humans originated in, like, Africa. So I understand, like, darker skin because it protects you from the sun. You can't really get sunburned. But what? how did it de-evolve to where, like, higher altitudes, like English and that, had pale skin? in like, Ireland and up. What? Something had to happen. I don't know. Like, even, because, I mean, you can still get sunburned when the clouds are out. So if, even if it's raining 90% of the time. Unless you're always under shelter for hundreds of years and like your pigmentation sort of leaves because you don't need that protection anymore. Well, why would you move up there? I see I'm trying to say how do you get from, you know, down here to up there? And even you know, they said this ice bridge connected places, but why would the heck would you go north? Unless you're like, it's too fucking hot. Let's go <laughs> up this way. And then you got stuck. It's like, why is China and Japanese, like, their eyes? I don't understand. And I don't understand accents either. Like, why is it this part of the region can speak the same language as this part and have a completely different accent? 
Even Pennsylvania and like Georgia. I don't know. <laughs> this is the shit that keeps me up at night. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think about. That's <laughs> what I think about. This is the first time I ever talked. I don't understand why. I mean, I guess you could. I mean, I understand like people come from Germany, migrate, like are immigrants to the U.S. That accent. Because you learned, grew up learning German. So your tongue's accustomed like talking this way, and then you're trying to learn a completely different language. So you got that thick German accent. But like somebody that came from England to here, and then their kids' kids don't have that accent. Like I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. And how you know? You can be born here. Let's say your family is born in PA, and they move, and you're born in Georgia, and then you have this. Hey y'all. Like I don't understand that twang. Hey, uh, and then Jersey has a different twang than New York, PA, coffee and water. Coffee. The fuck is that? I don't know. <laughs> Where does it come from? Where does I have it no go? idea. We need a speech expert to get a hold of us. I'm very, very intrigued. Can so I, Mike? Five people that are watching or not. Five. You're being generous. Anybody know a speech expert? Please, we need somebody in those speech. That was, my, that was my rant today. We talked about a little bit of everything. A little bit. Do you have anything to add to this lovely podcast? I've done ranting. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you covered all, my, all the bases. We're going to be starting more topic-driven weekly podcasts, so it's not just random shit that, you know, it's going on in here. So if you have any topics, please email us. Please just send us an email at some point. And uh, Task and Eyes is coming. I was waiting on the final stages. We'll have a copy here. I promise you by the end of February. On the part. Till next week. Don't go doing something stupid. Bye bye. And if you do, record it. Bye bye. Wow. I like your glasses. If I ingest <laughs> what this bull is putting out, I'm going to become like a bull. How do you get to that point? I don't know. Uh, it's just, uh, bulls, I'll do cows eat his grass all day. <laughs> I'm going to suck a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I accidentally went That's to That's not why I was going <laughs> to go. He went to me. You ever think about that? Then how they no, discovered? No, I never thought about who's that. Who's the first person to milk a cow? No. Whoa! <laughs> Somebody had to be the first. <laughs> All right, well, that's it here. Two of us podcast. Leaving on that note, you know what to do. This is also weird. <laughs> like, it makes this round thing with four like. I don't know how that thing evolved. We talked about this. Its purpose on the planet is to make be, be hamburgers. That's right. Unless he gets angry. Then I don't want to be anywhere near angry bull. I think I weigh me like by 900 pounds. I'm going to step on, step on my head and that's it. Here you go. You know what to do. Join us next week. Try new videos every week. Go follow us on Be YouTube, Facebook. We're doing what? Be the bull off. I don't <laughs> You can do that. We'll go. You take your GoPro on the farm. Well, we take that man and we go relievable. <laughs> He'd be dumb enough to do it. It's just kid stuff. It's just kid stuff. See you next week. Bye.